Cheering for the environment, cheering for the Bay's Maryland waters making the grade. Good evening, I'm Charlie Sakaitis. And I'm Christina DeRobertis. Welcome to Coast TV News at 11. We begin tonight in Ocean City for the Maryland Coastal Bay's report card presentation. No need to sweat out a report card here. The Maryland Coastal Bay's program receiving high marks at a key presentation this evening. And as Coast TV News reporter Brendan Conroy shows us, there's a lot to be excited about. Getting your report card can be stressful, but in Ocean City Thursday, this report card brought cheers and celebration. The Maryland Coastal Bays program just got their 2023 grade and it's their best yet, a B minus. Judy O'Neill, who delivered the good news, says it's a team effort that's making a difference. It's because of everybody working together that we're starting to see uh, some real progress in terms of resiliency in, in the Maryland Coastal Bays. The scores are based on four water quality factors, nitrogen, phosphorus, chlorophyll A, and dissolved oxygen but there's still work to be done. It's not all, uh, you know, roses and wine. Um, you know, there are some issues that we still have to deal with. There are things related to resiliency and climate issues and things like that. One Maryland local who grows oysters says he's seen changes in the bays firsthand. Years ago, I mean, you never saw seaweed in the bay or anything, and now all around my property, I have the eelgrass growing and uh, you know, I, I'm pleased with that. I, I'm trying to protect as much as I can. It might not be an A+, plus, but with good news, great company, and snacks, there is plenty to celebrate in Ocean City Thursday. When I spoke with the people from the Maryland Coastal Base Program, they said they want to keep improving for an even better score next year. But from the looks of the people in the audience, they seemed pretty excited and pleased with the score they received. In Ocean City, Brendan Conroy, Coast TV News.